dealing with problem statements in Smart India Hackathon or any hackathon for that matter requires a structured and strategic approach. Today, we'll be talking about another problem statement from SIH 2023. And for that, we have with us Siddhant, who is a past winner of Smart India Hackathon and will be sharing his thoughts and inputs on the problem statement SIH 1284, developing a blockchain-based e-vault for legal records. So let's see what Siddhant has to say about this particular problem statement. Welcome, Siddhant. Hello, Vikas. So for to begin with, Siddhant, I... just uh, tell us something about you and like what you've been doing, what you're doing currently, so that we get to know you better. Okay. So I've been a 2022 CSE grad and currently working as senior software engineer at AppGen utilizing the stack around Java and so on. And apart from that, I have been invested in few cloud technologies and yeah, have been dipping into the blockchain now and then. Okay, just tell us about the past experience of yours when you you know went on to win the hackathon last year around. So tell us something about that experience. Itself is not just uh, from my perspective, it's not just a problem statement which we are solving. It is a whole big, uh, bigger experience than that because it's not uh, something like college project which we are doing where we just take the problem statement, implement some kind of small uh, proof of concept and show it. We have to problem solve at each and every stage. We start with the research part, then goes on with uh, connecting with different people to know the reality because we are solving the actual problem mm -hmm. statements here rather than something which has been done throughout the years and is used for projects. So we have fresher problem statements with real time scenarios with real use cases. So we have to dig in that much deeper. Then there are a lot of uh, situations where you have to problem solve in real life and not just in terms of technology, but in terms of uh, how you present or the people skills which you have. So in all those aspects, uh, there is problem solving at each and every uh, step of it. So like it was one of a kind experience for me and it shaped me in a good way. Absolutely, Siddhant. So I mean, uh, definitely that was what you said was spot on the way you, you know, look at uh, SIH. Now coming to this year's uh, problem statements. So uh, to begin with, I mean, tell me, why did you choose this particular problem statement to discuss with us? Okay, so when I come across a list of problem statements, I like to broadly classify them into categories like one of the category is which is a bit more complex hard to get the the problem statement is a bit more hard to understand in the first place and it is a bit more open-ended like the one which we had last year but uh, also at the same time there is lesser number of participation because at first look it is a more complex requires more research and not much of information is provided in it but it gives us the opportunity to uh, give much more innovation uh, from our side and the other side of it is something that the organization or the ministry knows what exactly what they want which is the one which i've chosen this time around so they have clearly mentioned that they want an e-world with the technology as well the blockchain technology and what are their expected outcomes from it so everything is very clearly mentioned so in this use cases generally the implementation of basic model is very easy, but you also, if it is easy for you, it is easy for others. So you have to stand out somehow. So that's where the innovation part comes and that's where we have to do technological innovation. You have to do functional innovation. You have to provide something which others can't. So that is a good challenge to have. Right. So uh, now to begin with this particular problem statement, how would you deal with it in the sense uh, what is the first step? The first step is, of course, making a team. So what kind of a team do you think is ideal to deal with this particular statement? Like in this particular problem statement, they're very clearly uh, emphasized on blockchain, that they want blockchain as the technology. So obviously, I will need blockchain developers, at least two on my team, because it is a core technology. Like It is something which cannot be... Uh, just handled by one person because we will be going into research. So while we are researching something new, if we are implementing something new, it's better to have multiple people around who know, have the knowledge of it. Then again, we will need web developers. Web developers are basic for any problem statement which we pick in software category. So a good front-end developer will fetch you points in the regards where you don't have much to show, but 
the ease of access generally the end user doesn't see all the back end like you might do the most uh, fancy things in the back end but the end user sees front end so that's all they're able to see so your front end should be appealing at the end of the day and a good front end developer would bring that out a back end developer developer would uh, ensure that uh, entire system is up and running and doesn't crash at the mean time and you have something to actually show for for when the technical perspective kicks in in your problem statement so a good front end developer maybe we have a team of six so two blockchain developers preferably with the knowledge to connect uh, blockchain to our back end one proper back end developer two front end developers would suffice right so now talking about planning the entire thing how would you plan to you know solve this or you know crack this uh, we can begin with research maybe and then you can you can you know elaborate from there since this particular problem statement deals with the judicial matters we need to know the actual existing process which is uh, used to deal with all these matters and what all have been already implemented because in our minds since we are not uh, regularly as normal citizens we are not regularly in touch with the court and their proceedings so what uh, knowledge is it all comes from the movies which we have seen right so we need to know what is the actual process and what's actually going on right now currently in the court so for that heavy research is required for any project heavy research is required that you need to know the current situation then you need to connect with the people who are from that particular industry and can give you the real time scenario of that industry and the real time pains like you might problem solve for a particular thing but that might not even be the issue like that might have already been resolved by something that is already in place so you need to get a real time view of the entire situation you need to have the entire process at hand and then you need to think about acha which part of this can i optimize which part can i make better for people and then you go on with the actual uh, functional implementation of it okay staying with the research part for a bit so what do you think would be the avenues uh, you would choose to research on this particular subject so for the judicial matters i would like to first take in the whole process as i said then also i have uh, like researched a bit upon it uh, in past few days and i've seen that e courts have come into existence as of now which is something which was pushed during the covid uh, years so it has really gained some traction in indian uh, scenario so e courts and what all they have implemented i see the stats i see tracking of cases so all these things are something which if i didn't researched enough i would have already uh, stated them as my best selling points ki acha i'm uh, tracking the case i'm giving you stats but those are already in place like those are not any more appealing to the people of ministry because they already have them so i need to eliminate them or rather to build upon them and do even better so apart from that maybe i will get in touch with uh, some judges if possible through linkedin or the government side or the lawyers anyone i can get in touch with family and friends or uh, in any other way possible okay so now coming to the you know uh, solution part of it we've talked about talked about team we've talked about uh, research now the planning part like how do you go about solving this how do you go about you know putting up a say a solution or a product which you think is they think the judges think is viable as well as very practical generally uh, the judges like there are different kinds of judges one of them is from the organization itself representing the organization while there are few technical and other judges so the person from the organization Uh, is the actual end user of this case so what they want is the end product they don't uh, generally care what is in the back end you can put anything in the back end but what they actually care about is what turns out you can put the best of the technology in the back end but if the front end doesn't really translate it they are just going through a tedious process of updating something and uh, not seeing the results they have to go through a big long uh, filling procedure then it is not worth it for for them they need to have something which is practical and also easy to use so from that uh, standpoint what we do is we modularize each and every one of our problems which we are going to solve and provide solution for each one of them 
like in this case we can modularize it into uploading of the documents like we are having a e vault for legal uh, documents so uploading it, uh, them is one of the scenarios then sharing them is one of the scenarios and accessing them is one of the scenarios which is in between both of them so it can be uh, conceptualized into uploading and sharing so first i would probably how would i upload i will take in the scenario real time scenario what we generally do for that is we play a simulation like a normal role play we assign actors i am a end user uh, one of my teammate will be officer one of my teammate will be judge and we do a normal uh, scenario like if there was a application or a website which we have then how would we go through it what would be the challenges which we would face so role playing generally helps in this uh, case because it shows out the flaws which we have like something which we might have missed out in our initial thinking when we think we think modularly and while doing that when the actual whole product comes together it is not uh, easy to join together because we have not thought of the middle scenarios how things would flow from one end to other so simulation generally helps with cleaning out that flow at the functional discussion level itself then we can easily implement it without any issues uh, right so while providing solution i mean i'm sure there there would be other teams working you know diligently on this so what do you think in your case if you were doing it Uh, what kind of usp will you try to build what kind of you know uh, a special uh, what x factor do you think you can add into this solution yeah x factor is a very important point in such kind of problem statements where we see 400 plus submissions right we have to stand out somewhere so over here i have seen just they have mentioned use of blockchain but not specifically mentioned which type of blockchain now there are private as well as public blockchains and like they have mentioned ethereum which is one of the public blockchain but uh, from what i have uh, gathered around and what i know of the government is government would rather have its own resources have the entire blockchain under its own control rather than being dependent on a uh, entity which is outside of its control like ethereum the gas prices for uh, the transaction in ethereum might skyrocket anytime it is highly volatile so government would rather prefer to have their own infrastructure for blockchain so for that i would use hyperledger fabric or we also have called on the technologies for that but basically i would from conceptual level i would set up a private uh, blockchain i would recommend that apart from that i would have to stand out somewhere so in the problem statements where they have very clearly stated out what they want you have to generally give Uh, that part to best of your abilities and then think apart from that so now i have a strong point about data users are continuously uploading everything users are sharing everything i have this data part of it so i can convert it into analytics give them stats and from those stats i can extract some kind of information some kind of trends even that uh, these kinds of documents were uploaded over a year regarding this thing so i can just uh, predict some trends and that would be something that would set me apart from others who are just uploading and sharing like what is given in the problem statement those were some very interesting points that you made i mean uh, being aware of many other elements that might affect the solution not only now but later so i think that's very wise of you to you know think in that manner in that direction i'm sure viewers will take note of that and you know uh, try to keep that in mind while they are at it so sidhan um, as a last piece of advice or you know one piece of advice that you would want to give to the people who might be you know uh, trying to go at, have a crack at this particular problem statement what would be your one piece of advice how to go about it what exactly to do what are or what are the do's and don'ts in this particular case so you don't want to actually over engineer everything because you do have a short period of time to implement so this is something i have i have said very often that over engineering kills the whole product do the minimal possible things technologically think out everything don't keep your minds blocked think about each and every scenario think about each and every technology but don't over engineer it don't use something which can be done very easily in 5 minutes don't invest uh, multiple weeks in it that would actually kill your productivity so that is one thing from the implementation point of view and specific to this uh, 
case research is very very important because the cases like this the problem statements like this are actually something which requires you to know the process in and out like you need to know the smallest of things which are being used smallest of things which can and cannot be substituted like you as a problem solver you want to just digitize everything but there are certain elements to such problem statements like judicial cases and government works which cannot be substituted by digital work sometimes maybe the attestation sometimes uh, some signature something or other but it cannot be digitized so you have to take those elements in mind as well and build your problem sheet build your solution around so those were some very good inputs from you sidan and i'm sure people will benefit from all this and we would want to thank you for you know joining us today and sharing your thoughts about this particular problem statement uh, thank you so much for joining and uh, we wish you all the best for all the endeavors that you would be embarking upon in the near future thank you for joining sidan thanks a lot vikas it has been a pleasure same here remember hackathons are not just about finding solutions but also about learning and growing as a team adaptability creativity and effective communication are the key skills to showcase during the event we wish you all the best thank you for watching